Hello and welcome to the Academy of Online Mastery. My name is Steve Woody. To ensure you're watching this video in the best quality, please click the resolution button and select HD. For more videos, please check our website www.onlinemastery.co.uk. In this video, we're going to go through the navigation. At present, we've been using the navigation that comes with the Twitter Bootstrap theme. We're now going to take that out and introduce our own navigation. To do that, we need to go into our header.php. And we need to find all the information regarding the navbar. And delete that. What we're now going to do instead is we're going to call the menu. If we look at our appearance, if we go into our menus, you remember that we called this the header menu. This can be seen from our functions.php header menu. We're now going to call this header menu. And we're going to do that from just above the top container. We're going to add the following line of code for the WP nav menu. The array is theme location, header menu. We'll save this output. And now when we view our site, we'll have lost the top menu. And you can now see that we have an unstyled menu sitting above the content. To test that this has worked, we can now add our additional pages to the menu. We can save this menu. And when we refresh our page, we can see that this unstyled menu is now sitting correctly. To insert this menu anywhere else, all we need to do is copy this line of code. From here, what I would suggest personally is that you download a plugin from the website codecanyon.net called Uber Menu. Once this plugin has been downloaded, you can then go to your dashboard, select plugins, add new, and you can upload the zip file for the plugin. By installing the Uber menu and activating the plugin, you now need to go back to your appearance, to your menus, and ensure that activate Uber menu locations is selected and saved. Now, if you refresh your site, you'll have a styled menu ready to use. 